Good morning. We all have COVID fatigue. How does that affect our youth? Youth or adolescents are aged 10 to 19 years old. If an adolescent is listening now and you're having problems, please reach out to get help. If you can't go to your parents, go to Father Jake or Father Foley or a favorite teacher. If you're really seriously in trouble, dial 911. Social distancing, we know, is one of the best ways to prevent the spread of COVID. How does that affect our adolescents? They're missing their friends, their family, boyfriends, girlfriends, and church family, and it's hard. They're also missing social markers, 16th birthday or 18th birthday, prom, homecoming, sporting events, family vacations, births, and deaths. Due to school closures, we have a break in the access to health support teams, such as occupational therapy, speech, behavioral, mental health therapies. And it also can affect sports development and hands-on vocational skills. A lot of adolescents are very anxious about online meetings. Their symptoms for that are difficulty concentrating, physical exhaustion, anxiety when they either enter a meeting or when they have to speak during a meeting, irritability, headaches, and eye strain. How can you offset Zoom fatigue? Encourage your youth to take a 10-minute walk each hour. Do a couple exercises or yoga. And playing with their pets. This will relieve stress and increase their concentration. They're also at increased harm from, from, by just being online. They can be online sexual exploitation, cyberbullying, online risk-taking, such as buying drugs or planning to meet with an adult that's acting like a child. Parents must be present. If your adolescent has their bedroom door closed more than usual, if they're asking for money and not telling you why they're asking for money, you need to ask questions and schedule family time every night. There are steps you can take as a parent or guardian to provide stability and support. These are, have a normal routine and schedule family time. Talk, listen, and encourage sharing. Give honest and accurate information. Teach steps to remain healthy, such as eating better, more veggies, more fruits, drink more water and less sugary drinks, exercise, and get the right amount of sleep eight to 10 hours a night. If your youth is sleeping under six hours or more than 12 hours a night, it can be a symptom of underlying unhealthiness. If you have a crisis with your youth, call 911. The national suicide prevention number is 800-273-8253. Locally, Eagle View Behavioral Health Center opened in Bettendorf last summer. They have a 24-7 assistant and referral line. That number is 833-398-2453. They, they treat, excuse me, 12-year-olds on up in, in mental health crises or substance abuse. They have inpatient and outpatient care. They have individual and or group therapy. Parents and guardians, if you're concerned, reach out for help sooner rather than later. That way you can get your adolescent in early education therapy, you can get recommendations for referrals, and you can have another set of eyes on your youth. Remember, parents and guardians, be present. React to negative changes. Do not be afraid to seek professional help. As Father Jake said in his homily today, he talked about love. Our greatest commandment is to love one another. Happy Valentine's Day.